halfway through the tendering process for its State Highway 20B road widening project for the New Zealand Transport Agency, Waka Katahi, Principal Contractor Fulton Hogan was asked to come up with a new methodology that would shave a full one-third of the original timescale. It was a huge challenge and Fulton Hogan went back to Waka Katahi with an inside-out idea that involved nighttime working as a key part of the strategy. Building this important new access link to Auckland Airport was now going to need the highest possible levels of accuracy in tricky working conditions and Trimble, where its local SciTech dealer, was brought in to apply a full range of the latest connected construction technology across all aspects of the job. It was the only way to go. We've been talking to the project leaders to find out how they turned a big problem into an even bigger success. First up, Waka Katahi project manager Amir Baho introduces the project and explains the scale of the challenge that faced the parties and how they came together to find a workable solution that could meet that challenge. So for us at Waka Katahi, we've always been looking at um, innovative ways of being able to deliver projects faster, better, safer, high quality and, and, and more cost effective. This project has been really at, at the heart of it in terms of the innovation. This went through procurement as a traditional measure and value tender. We presented the team with the challenge. We were halfway through the tender process when we realised we needed to change things around in order to help us get to um, where we are today. Fulton Hogan's site agent, Richard Anthony, picks up the story and makes it clear that without the use of the technology provided by Trimble, the ambitious plan devised by the team would not have been deliverable. As engineers, we love it when we get challenged to do something different. And this really gave us the ability to challenge ourselves to do things better. Ultimately, State Highway 20B is a, a straightforward road widening, but trying to do it in the timescales that the client was after was particularly challenging, especially as we've lost the ability of having a two summer, one winter programme. Originally, we had a three stage methodology, um, typical with most roads to go to a two-stage approach um, and basically do the same amount of work as we were originally intending to do, and we had to think outside the box. This actually involved building the road almost inside out because we're not just um, widening the road, we are completely replacing the existing road. We've almost constructed the base layer of the asphalt as a patchwork quilt and making sure that you're able to do that piece and that piece to the same level of control and the same levels is so important. So when we've completed all this patchwork quilt, we've then got a smooth surface actually to be able to run across with the final layers of asphalt as we build the top of the new road. One of the big things that Waka Kotahi said was, you know, we're challenging you to go faster, but let's make this absolutely clear that the road quality and the final ride is paramount important to us. We will not compromise on it. So yes, you want to do all this pavement work in the middle of the night, but you need to do it in such a way that you will guarantee the same level of quality that you would have provided if you'd done it by more traditional means and done it during the day. And Trimble technology definitely enabled us to um, achieve that and the, the ride quality we're getting out there is fantastic. Interestingly, the nighttime manager uh, came into a meeting during the day for the first time for ages a few weeks ago. He said, wow, I haven't seen the road by daylight. It's completely different, even with the best lighting in the world. Everything that you do at nighttime is twice as difficult as it is um, during the day, especially to get it to the right level of accuracy that we really required. Machine controlling in general offers um, good benefits, not just for social distancing but for safety as well because it means we don't need to have as many people around the machines as we used to have to do. Nowadays that can all be done remotely which just takes that whole man versus machine away from the equation and it makes it safer for everybody, um, everybody involved. For more of an insight into the technology that Trimble and its SciTech dealer provided, we talked to Chief Surveyor Jan Dupriez, who also shares his vision of how far this technology could go in changing his role in the future. I don't think uh, this project could have been at the stage where it is uh, without the technology and without Trimble's help. 
one of the big concerns that we had was the fact that we had to have the project finish at a certain date. We had to go look at different ways to do it and one of the things that we decided on was to get machine control plant on the site uh, and it's worked a dream. Most of the machine control out on site is running with either the earthworks, uh, Trimble earthworks or the Trimble grade control and uh, even the you know, drain layers are running with the Trimble Dini levels, the digital levels. The millers and the pavers all run with the Trimble robotics instruments, robotic total stations, uh, which is the SPS 930s. And uh, basically they're just running the paving control off that. So yeah, no, pretty exclusive on the Trimble range at the moment. SciTech and Altera has basically been such a big help to us on site here. The nice thing about them is they just always a phone call away. We've had them out on site where we've had problems with models. You know, you pick up a phone, you send the data through to them, and within the next hour or so you can get the data back. SciTech has been available to us where we ensure a supply of some rental equipment which they could supply to us within a day. And uh, without that, we, you know, there's a section of the job that we just couldn't have been done. So looking at how this job went and with the technology we, we employed, I'm really excited for the, for the next phase, you know, where the future is going to go with the technology. The autonomous side of, of the survey, you know, and, and looking at things like the robotic dog, looking at drones, it, you know, it's, it's going to end up hopefully and probably by taking the surveyor out of the field and moving more into a data management side of it, uh, which, which obviously brings a lot less risk to the surveyors, more longevity in the career, and yeah, that's what excites me about it. The State Highway 20B widening project is now complete, having met its very ambitious targets and provides proof positive that embracing construction technology allows clients and contractors alike to set higher benchmarks than would otherwise be possible. Connected construction from Trimble enables owners, engineers and contractors to share project data and collaborate for more predictable outcomes and shared success. For more information about Trimble Connected Construction, just go to the website or contact your local SciTech dealer today.